Hey everyone, what's good guys? Today we're gonna check out the 8 most disturbing things got on doorbell camera footage. So, it's afternoon in Italy, so I might be able to sleep tonight after watching this fucking video. I have ice cream with me, so let's just check it out, come on. What the hell? This is everything in America, I guess, no? I mean, who the fuck has a doorbell camera? This footage was captured in Flint, Michigan on April 24th, 2023. Okay. The house had two ring cameras, one above the garage, and the other was a ring doorbell camera. Around 10 p.m., a man in a red jacket and another person just behind him are shown walking up to the house's front door. Before knocking or ringing the doorbell, the man in the jacket immediately starts trying to break down the door. No. The camera falls to the ground from the impacts, but the door itself doesn't budge. After those few seconds, the man walks around to the house's side door and again immediately starts trying to break it down. By this point, the homeowner had woken up in a panic and was checking their camera's feed for an explanation. They noticed their doorbell camera on the ground, and so they switched over to their other camera. As the banging noise rang out throughout the house, they could now see what was causing it. Fucking deep, please hear the voice of a woman and then just run away. Nah, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Nah, those are not professional thieves. I don't know, maybe they were under drugs or whatever. Come on. I mean, I don't know how actually it works in Italy, living in a small city, so we got those things. We got those things happening too, but usually they always check if you whether you are in the house or not. It's always premeditated. I don't know, I guess this guy was just like uh, I don't know, under drugs or whatever. The homeowner's the way they run, yeah. the speaker was enough to scare the two men off. Police were called out to the property. When they reviewed the footage, they noted that one of the men was armed. What these two men planned to do with the people inside if they had successfully broken in is unknown. It's unclear if they were ever identified by police. Yeah, I mean... I don't know. I I do think that they didn't know that no, they didn't know that people would be home. Otherwise, why would they run away if the woman talks over the speaker? Come on, makes no sense. This clip was captured at three in the morning on April 9th. Oh my God! Look at her face. It what the in fuck? Turkey, New Mexico. The oh my God! I'm getting chills. Recorded. What the hell? It wasn't until he woke up and saw a notification on his phone that he found out about it. What the he fuck is he doing? Horrifying. No. This is what he saw. Nah, this fucking woman is just on drugs. He just got the the fucking wrong house. Come on, what the hell is that? A woman is shown trying multiple different keys to get into the house and even looking around for a hidden one. She's on drugs. She doesn't even know where the fuck she lives. What the hell? Bro, look at her face. What the hell? Oh my god. The homeowner claimed that he had never seen this woman before. He said that she later started throwing rocks at his car and trying those locks. It's likely she was under the influence of something. Yeah, definitely. Multiple times she tries to insert keys into the doorbell camera itself. Into the doorbell the camera! Locks off and was never seen on the property again. Oh my god, what the fuck? Tensions are unknown. Wow. Walter Hickox is a homeowner in Daytona Beach, Florida. His home is set out in a wooded section of the city. In January of 2022, Walter was taking his three dogs out onto the porch when he noticed one of them intently looking at something outside. 
The dogs suddenly start running to the left side of the camera. Is that a bear? He realizes they were looking at a black bear. What the and hell? It climbs over a protective railing as it goes for the dogs. Leo. With barely any time to process what he was seeing, Walter lunges at the bear as it goes for his dogs. Mm. He manages to push it back before he shoves a nearby chair in the doorway, preventing... Yeah, but I think bears are also scared of humans. So if you would be running away, they will chase you and probably kill you. But if you fight them, there might be a small chance that they will be frightened by you as well. I don't know much about animals, but I think it's like that. He yells out that he was attacked by a bear as he brings his dogs back inside. When I had time to just sit and just stare, it all hit me and I started bawling. I couldn't believe how close to death I was and I did it for my dog. Walter received minor injuries from the bear. His dogs didn't receive any injuries. How? How did they receive an injury? This homeowner in Texas got a knock at their door for a DoorDash delivery around 1.20 in the morning. Only the homeowner had an order DoorDash. She was sleeping. It was only her and her nephew in the home at the time. What is the that? She remembers waking up to a metal clinking sound, but didn't think much of it until she noticed damage to the outside of her house the next morning. This caused her to look back at her cameras, both the footage from her doorbell camera and the one she had set up in her backyard. This is what she saw. What is she doing? What is Rihanna doing that? Well, they must have pranked her or something. Dash. What is that? What the fuck? What the hell? The first video isn't as concerning. A woman standing at the door, claiming to be with a DoorDash from 1.20 a.m. to 2 a.m. This could be written off as a determined delivery driver that unknowingly had the wrong address. But it was the backyard footage that was genuinely concerning. At 2 a.m., four men got into the backyard and tried to gain entry into the home through a window. Wow. It's likely they planned on entering through the front door by ambushing the person that opened it for the DoorDash delivery. But when no one answered, they resorted to trying the backyard while the fake DoorDash deliverer stayed out front as a distraction. However, fortunately the men would be unsuccessful and are shown running away from the house on the backyard camera. And that is definitely crazy. I think if someone would... Uh ring my doorbell and I have camera to see outside I would just I would never open I would never open fuck that I would be calling the police rather I'm just waiting there like being fucking terrorized I would never open what the hell that's crazy the four men and the woman at the front door were all seen leaving the area together in a dark colored sedan yeah they that's crazy police. how are they not Catching them in June of 2019, can't see her face in Chicago got a visit from a man claiming to be an investigator known as Jeff Rushmore. The only problem is that man doesn't exist. He was impersonating an investigator with the local police department, fully equipped with a fake uniform, a fake badge, and fake police radio chatter. This ring camera caught him performing the act. Can you open the door? What is he doing? The homeowner does the answer. The just not answering the, the door. stays in character, even faking a call back reporting the unresponsive homeowner. Another home in the area equipped with a ring doorbell camera shows the same man. This time the homeowner does open the door. What's gonna happen? Hi, uh, 
started rightly, so like, uh, Rushmore with the Winfield Police Department, I'm an investigator. When your neighbor is down the street, reported a missing The video cuts out there. The man explains a missing person case, and when the homeowner says he doesn't know anything about it, the interaction ends. That's it. The motives behind him impersonating an investigator are unknown. Often there are cases like this where the man is simply trying to get people to open their door thinking they're safe, but proceed to rob them, or sometimes worse. However, he doesn't do this. No one knows so his motives. Weird. One commenter said, I honestly believe he was testing the waters. And as he felt more confident, he would have escalated from getting people to open their door to entering into people's homes to only God knows what next. According to recent documents, the man was never identified. How are you not fucking identifying people when you can clearly see their faces? We see those fucking American movies. You got the CIA, you got the FBI, you got any fingerprint recognition, you got the, the facial recognition, you got every freaking thing. Is that all a lie? How do you not recognize him? Look, you can clearly see his face. That's crazy. That's totally unbelievable. Come on. This video was captured in Kansas City. The doorbell footage shows... Oh my God. Look at this guy. Climbing on the guardrail. Oh my God. He was trying to stay out of frame as he attempted to take the ring camera off of the home. Oh my god. Inside the home was a woman Bro. and her son. The man was the woman's ex boyfriend. Oh my god. He failed to remove the camera, so he left. Returned 30 minutes later. It's no way. This time he had a cloth to cover the camera. Yeah, right. What the hell? Just put on a fucking mask if you don't want to be recognized. What the hell? So weird. Nah, there's no way. Just give up. Three minutes later, the homeowner's son ran into her room frantic, telling her their car was on fire. Oh the my god! were called to the scene, but not before the fire destroyed their car and most of their home. Nah. Marianne, an expert in abusive relationships, responded with Abusive Son of a bitch. About power and control. When that power and control is taken away or it's minimized, then what we see is those efforts are escalated to try and get them back. Police are currently looking for the homeowner's ex-boyfriend seen in the video. There's no way. That's still looking. This happened in April of 2023. And what is even the point to have those doorbell cameras? I mean, you, you catch them doing shit. How are you not finding them afterwards? I mean, what do they do? They don't eat. They just disappear in the... I don't know. This video is making me get angry. How do you not catch these people? That's crazy. Protection of Asheville, North Carolina. Oh my Remember God, still with the bears. Fuck. She was detected in her front door. Oh my God. She opened the app on her phone and saw three bears on her front porch. Oh, that, that's a bear too. Oh my God. Recently been delivered. Inside the package was dog food, which they easily would have been able to smell. Wow. The owner opened her door and confronted the animals, trying to scare them off. Bro, it must be crazy to open your door. take one of the two bags of dog food inside the package they're seen on the right side of the screen with the bag in their mouth as they walk off yeah it must be so scary this footage was captured at night just before 2 a.m yeah I'm most captured these fucking people than the bells this home in rochester new york immediately after he hides behind a parked car he's seen crouched down holding some kind of club in his hand breathing heavily and sweating profusely he nervously How can looks you tell he's sweating? From out of the street to back at the house's front door. How can you tell he's sweating? It's like 144p. 
What is he doing? Why is there so many crazy people in the world? Oh my god. Still waiting for someone to go out. The man clearly looks to be on something. When he realizes no one was going to answer the door, he walks away. Another minute passes when a voice yells out that the police are on their way. Yeah, I, I'm even surprised that these people will get scared if you yell that the police are on their way. It's unclear whose voice this is. There are two main possibilities here. Either this man was hiding from someone for one reason or another and he was trying to get inside a house so that he wouldn't be found, the voice being the person he was hiding from. Or he was trying to bait the homeowner into opening the door where he then planned to do who knows what, the voice here being a concerned neighbor that saw what he was doing. Either way, the man most likely did not have the best intentions. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh my god, I'm getting chills watching this type of videos. I don't know. Just let me know down in the comments if you like me reacting to this kind of stuff. I want I will just be reacting during the daytime because yeah, whatever. Fuck. I'm not gonna sleep throughout the whole night otherwise. Let me know. Let me know down in the comments what do you think? Uh if you have any possible explanation for most of these fucked up footages. Let me know and I'll see you on the next reaction.